Hello, welcome to a Pollock Pooch's product perusal. We are here today to talk about boots. I'd consider myself fairly knowledgeable about boots. Being a professional dog walker, I do about 4 million steps a year. That means I can go through boots pretty fast. And I commonly get asked, what's the best boots to buy as a professional dog walker? Or just as someone who lives in Scotland, quite exposed to the elements all year round. And I have a really, really good answer to this because I have been repeatedly buying the same boots for about 18 months now. And they are the Savage Island leather combat boots. Now, this is not a paid product endorsement. I get no money for making this video and showing it to you. I just wanted to answer a question that people often ask me. So let's take a little look at these, quite frankly, amazing boots. First thing you're gonna to wanna to know is how much do they cost? They are 30 pounds from Amazon. And how long are they gonna last for that price? Well, I get about four pairs of these a year, which means they last about 1 million steps. Now, this is harsh Scottish terrain in all weathers, all year round, and they're lasting a million steps each. I'd say the average person who doesn't get paid to walk for a living is probably looking at doing a million steps a year. So, these might last you a year for £30 if you're lucky, and they are really nice to wear, they're always comfortable, they never hurt my feet. So let's look at some of the key features of them. Now, firstly, they have incredible stitching. If we take a close-up look, and we're going to look at, these are my current ones I'm wearing, and these are the replacements that I bought. If we look at the stitching on these, these have done almost a million steps themselves, and there's a little bit of fraying, but there is no break in this. They're not incredibly waterproof anymore, but to be honest, I mean, for the amount of steps they've done, there's not many boots that will last that long in my experience, and certainly not for 30 pounds and still working without holes when they look like this. Uh, they've got another key feature. For those of us who wear combat boots a lot, you'll know that they're a bit of a pain with the laces. When you try and lace them back up, they tend to get tight in one place, not in another. The laces break easily because the boots are really strong and rugged. So the eyelets break the laces because you're undoing them and doing them back up all the time you're having to take them off to go into people's houses because they're all muddy now these boots bit of velcro and a zip it's like you're five years old again and living in a wonderful world because you can just take them straight off put them back on in fact i don't think i've ever unlaced and laced these back up because i've never needed to that's a pretty useful feature if you ask me now, they do break in the same way every time, but see if you're getting a million steps out of them for £30 and they consistently always break in the same place, not like other boots that fall apart here, the sole falls off, the lining splits, it's this, let's take a little close up look, it's the zipper, and the zipper doesn't actually fall off and leave you stuck out in the world with boots you can't wear, what happens instead is this little tag over time it fatigues and breaks off and they've actually got a clever little feature these boots there's a little latch it's very hard to show you but i'll try and show you there's a little latch so you have to be holding this to click the latch in inside to make if i try and push the zip look up and down now i can get it to go up but i can't get the zip to go down by pushing it there look there you go so i push it hard and it doesn't go down that's because there's a little latch inside here that clicks on and allows you to pull it up and down when the latch is engaged. Now, unfortunately, when that tag breaks, it means the zip is stuck up. And I've had to like wedge things in there to get the zip to unzip. But you're never stuck in the boots because you can just undo the laces and then you're probably throwing the boots away. Uh, it's consistently out of the six pairs that I've owned, every single one of them has broken by that bit dying that bit falling off. So you know what you're getting, but 30 pounds, a million steps, maybe a year of use, three months if you're a really heavy user, that 
is still a fantastic boot or set of boots. You do get two for £30, don't you worry. So in summary, I would highly recommend if you're looking at being a professional dog walker or you're just looking to walk around Scotland in the winter time to go out and buy yourself a pair of these boots. They are going to last you a long time and be really good value for money. So I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, just to clarify again, if you click that link, it just takes you to your Amazon. That's not an affiliate link. I'm not getting any money for this review. This is completely my opinion because people keep asking me, Tom, what boots should I buy? Right, that's it, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed that. That is the uh, Pollock Pooches product perusal of the Savage Island Zip Up Leather Combat Boots. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.